Okay everyone, Ace here from Ace Space Astrophotography. In today's video, I'd like to show you my latest astrophotography purchase. Alright, I've already cut open the box, so let's see what's inside. Alright. Oh, looky here. An 11 pound counterweight. First one. Okay, let's get the next box. I've already cut this box open too. Let's see what we have. It's an Ioptron tripod, the 1.75 inch light rock tripod. There's the tripod there. And pack the accessory tray. So here's the accessory tray. Alright, I'm going to make sure it's fairly tight, the um, accessory tray, because I don't have to spread the legs out. Seems pretty sturdy. Not too heavy. Alright. Now normally the alignment pin either goes over a tripod leg or between two tripod legs. And then that points north. That's the pin that points north, the alignment pin. But I don't see it in the box. Okay, either they forgot it or it's in my other package. Alright, let's have a look. Alright, so this is my new mount. It cost me, with taxes, $3,500. So this is the Ioptron Gem 45, German Equatorial Mount. Alright. I'll leave the mount in the box for now. Let's pull out all the accessories. So here's the Ioptron GoTo Nova handset, hand controller. Handset, hand controller. Alright. 
a lot bigger screen than the um, Celestron on my EVX mount. This looks nice, and this is supposed to have uh, a heater too, and it's built into it. So that'll be nice. My um, Celestron one always uh, fogs over. All right, so that's the hand controller. So it comes with one USB cable, type A to B. B connector and A connector. All right, get a speed cable. Let's see what this is. 740 PE curve measured by encoder. Okay, that really helps. Mine's a Gem 45, not a 740. Okay. From what I've read, uh, the SEM4, the only difference really between the SEM40 and the GEM45, it's supposedly they have the same gears. The SEM40, obviously, it's a center balance mount, only holds 40 pounds of payload, whereas the GEM45 holds 45 pounds of payload, and it's a German equatorial mount. So I don't know why they didn't give a paper for a GEM45 instead of a SEM40, but oh well. Okay. And here's the counterweight bar. That's pretty sturdy. And the safety screw on the end. Alright, what else do we got here? Here's the GPS module that hooks with one of these cables, and one of these cables is for the hand controller. So one's for the GPS module, one's for the hand controller. Alright. And in here we have the power supply. power supply here and the part of the power supply. Alright, part of the connector. Oh look, here's our alignment pin. Yay. Alright. Put the alignment pin on to the uh, tripod. Alright. And we have an RS-232. Here's, here's the mount itself. So now I read the directions and it said to first lock the deck. No, not the deck, the RA. Turn the switch, or the clutch here, and put it in the lock position so you can pull it out of the uh, box here. Here's the, here's the mount. Alright, so let's go put it on to the tripod. So here's the alignment pin here. So we just have to line it up between the two azimuth 
bolts, there's a little space here. There we go. bolts in the back here. With a washer. A little black washer there. Okay, so one, one bolt goes here. And another bolt on the side here. And there should be a little Allen key here somewhere. Here it is. All right, it's on the side here. So That's tight. So now, touch the kind of bar. Counterweight bar is now on. And now put on the counterweight. Take off the safety screw. And it says to release the RA axis. When you want to put on, when you put on the counterweight. When it's on, take the screw back on, make sure the counterweight's tight. Go. Now we'll walk the, the RA axis again. Walk the deck axis. All right. So it's just basically the. Um, 
the uh, GM45 mount. I'll do another uh, video let you know how the guiding goes. I'll show you once it's all set up and I'll go through everything. I just decided to do a quick unboxing of the uh, GM45. Thanks everyone. See you later.